Section one of Selected Poems. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Selected Poems by Thomas Parker Sanborn. The Dryad's Call, read by Newgate Novelist. Where art thou, Pan? the dryad maidens singing fill the dark wood with joyous melody let us once more thy well-loved visage see for black-robed night her earthward way is winging oh let us see thee far our calls are ringing from hill to hill from rock to moss-girt tree where art thou pan the dryad maidens singing fill the dark wood with joyous melody day's goddess from her hand her dim torch flinging shrouded in white mist hideth in the sea and yet no token do we have of thee the wind no sound from thy sweet pipe is bringing where art thou pan the dryad maidens singing fill the dark wood with joyous melody End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Song by Thomas Parker Sanborn Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist My lady's eyes are starlight, My lady's brow is snow, Her hair gleams with the far light That golden wheat sheaves show and like a wind-swept harvest flower her quivering red lips glow she loves both proud and lowly her heart is pure and true a fount of all that's holy where from her love i drew a nesting place for venus doves where from one joy-winged flew oh, dear one through pain and joyance, through sunny days and drear, through ease and through annoyance, my way is bright and clear. With thee to guide me on my path, I have no doubt or fear. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Cardinal Flower by Thomas Parker Sanborn Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist Upon the bank the deep red flower shone Amid the autumn grass, embrowned and sere A tiny dewdrop sparkled thereupon In semblance of a tear Above, a flock of tardy birds took flight unto the meadows of a sunnier clime and in the west gathered the gloomy night the night of autumn time beside the river flowing to the sea made low lament blown over by the breeze for summer's death and the same threnody sang the wind-shaken trees I did not pluck the flower that bloomed so fair, but left it, banner-wise, to swing and wave, to fade and mingle with the wan grass there, over September's grave. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. This audiobook is brought to you by Full Audiobooks. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon if you love audiobooks. Marie by Thomas Parker Sanborn Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist The Mousset As when some delicate blossom of spring Unfolding her petals in woodland ways Hearing with joy what the south wind says, Smiles at his amorous murmuring. 
as her stem when the chalice is opening though far in the lap of the earth it stays trembles and stirs like a living thing with glad desire its form to raise so when in singing my sweet marie half opens her lips for the melody and lifts her beautiful dark blue eyes her pure soul seems to take wing and flee amid the light and the harmony trembling and fluttering to the skies end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Return by Thomas Parker Sanborn Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist Love comes back to his empty dwelling Dobson The love yet lives that ye thought dead And, worn by the soft breath of spring Hope comes again to hearts that bled Think not upon the tears ye shed think rather on the love i sing the love yet lives that ye thought dead with april blossom garlanded returned from her long wandering hope comes again to hearts that bled it had not perished it had fled forth from your bosom sorrowing the love yet lives that ye thought dead she comes with joy a paralleled gone is the smart the bitter sting hope comes again to hearts that bled now love and hope are surely wed rejoice and touch the lute's light string the love yet lives that ye thought dead hope comes again to hearts that bled end of poem this recording is in the public domain. Musketaquid by Thomas Parker Sanborn Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist The river, gently and with measured flow, Glides through the plain of grassy meadow land, Deep-tinged, pactolos-like, with golden sand fringing its banks green flags and rushes grow and lightly move when zephyrs faintly blow as harp strings move neath that famed minstrel's hand who on the bank of acheron did stand to win his lady from the world below each season lends the fair stream new delight hoar winter with his brow snow garlanded glad spring her soft hands healing winter's blight summer too late to come too early sped and autumn crowned with oak leaves glowing bright rich in the harvest's plenteous goodly head end of poem this recording is in the public domain A Shepherd's Song by Thomas Parker Sanborn Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist Beyond this weary waste of sand, Beyond the surging of the sea, Beyond unrest, there lies a land, The happy land of Arcady. Arcadia, Arcadia, by gods and mortals blessed, With song and harp we sound thy praise, and through the long delicious days in thy fair meads we rest upon the maidens faces there broods no dark cloud of weariness there's not a thought of woe or care the gentle shepherds to distress arcadia arcadia by gods and mortals blessed with song and harp we sound thy praise and through the long delicious days in thy fair meads we rest and all day long the thrushes sing and there at eve 
the nightingale makes all the shadowy grove to ring neath diane's radiance silver pale arcadia arcadia by gods and mortals blessed with song and harp we sound thy praise and through the long delicious days in thy fair meads we rest a rivulet that whispers low of joys remembered joys to come past the wide branching trees doth flow its source is in elysium arcadia arcadia by gods and mortals blessed with song and harp we sound thy praise and through the long delicious days in thy fair meads we rest end of poem this recording is in the public domain the lay of the sad student by thomas parker sanborn read for LibriVox.org by newgate novelist i was sure of big percents several weeks ago all my marks would be immense several weeks ago thought i but i was deceived had i known fate i had grieved and my errors past retrieved several weeks ago how i wish that i had ground several weeks ago and the references found several weeks ago then i'd not be sitting here drinking copiously of beer i loafed like the deuce i fear several weeks ago end of poem this recording is in the public domain. A Cell by Thomas Parker Sanborn Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist Suspense is hard to bear Just when a fellow is expecting A valentine from Gwendolen Excessively affecting Ha! Ah, here's the postman messenger of cupidon i pray he leaves a letter it's from her no small amount i'll lay though somewhat changed is each gay quirl i'm sure that i can tell the dainty pothooks of the girl who round me casts her spell i open it with eager haste oh thunder it's a bill go joy and feel thyself disgraced come sorrow sup thy fill end of poem this recording is in the public domain destiny by thomas parker sanborn read for librivox dot org by newgate novelist today's sad face was wet with tears oh wherefore is your sorrow through all the changing months and years i ne'er can be to-morrow you were to-morrow yesterday she answered then with scorn and how does that help matters pray since i was yet unborn end of poem this recording is in the public domain At Christmas by Thomas Parker Sanborn Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist The embers dying on the hearth Fall into ashes grey below Without the flakes of sullen snow Flit in a faint dissembled mirth Where is the little golden star That led the wise men years ago the snowflakes wanton to and fro, dark clouds the heavenly portals bar. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Sorrow and Stillness by Thomas Parker Sanborn. Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist. 
with grief i walked in woodland solitude and called aloud in prayer and bade them hear the dumb grey forest trees that stood anear and made as if they knew not that i sued the winter wind played no soft interlude no little lisping song to soothe and cheer as mothers whispering calms the children's fear but stormed and raged as if in angry mood then in a moment all the tumult ceased with tender grey the sky was overcast and bowed the head of every towering tree straightway from half my care i was released and life grew sweet again i knew at last that silence was the truest sympathy end of poem this recording is in the public domain This audiobook is brought to you by Full Audiobooks. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon if you love audiobooks. Class Ode by Thomas Parker Sanborn Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist Dear Mother, we leave thee to join in the race Where no man may weaken or yield and we look once again at thy beautiful face and the word that is wrought on thy shield thou hast taught us to strive thou hast taught us to dare in the years that forever have flown farewell to thee mother whose bountiful care in the fullness of youth we have known there is hope in our hearts there is light in our eyes as we dream of the goal set before though we linger unwilling to break the old ties that shall bind us alas never more the ties may be severed they'll ne'er be forgot our hearts are forever the same from our thought from our love we will banish thee not dear mother we'll win in thy name end of poem this recording is in the public domain and end of selected poems by thomas parker sanborn thank you for listening